in the course of an inventor's career, um, every inventor feels like he had an idea or an invention that was either taken from him or somebody else thought of and did it before he got it out. And, um, and that can be frustrating, very frustrating, especially when that idea becomes successful. And that's the case of the whack-a-mole. Uh, I was uh, very young, it was 1976, I had just gone to the first IAAPA convention and I met a customer who was actually a carnival operator who's, who asked me to invent the whack-a-mole. So really I'm going to give you the story behind the idea of the whack-a-mole. I have to give really the credit of the idea to this guy whose name I believe was Denny Denton. You know, and I remember Denton or Denny or something like that. He came to me and he said, hey, over there in booth number 13 are a bunch of Japanese guys who have this new game with these, these animals that pop up out of holes, electronic, electrically activated, and you hit them with a hammer. So the idea wasn't mine that those things would pop out of, out of holes. Basically, some Japanese guys did it. And he said, but their machine doesn't work right. It's always failing. And it, you know, we don't even know what it's called because it's got some kind of Japanese name to it. And it's very expensive and these guys can't even speak English so I can't even buy the game from them. Can you build that for me? So I, I went to work on it. And I designed a system, uh, sculpted the little moles that would come up. Uh, I invented the name Whack-A-Mole. I did come up with that name. And um, uh, invented the system of air cylinders that would push the devices up and the micro switches that would register the hits and the system that would actually activate the, the, the moles coming up and down. So I named it and, and created the sculpture and, and got it out and built this for this Denny Denton guy. And um, I, I thought, well, this would be great. Why don't we go into business building this together? But um, Denny took the game as I designed it and invented it. And he took it to another guy, uh, Bob Space Racers over in Daytona Beach and sold it to him. Bob Space Racers got my prototype. And, and Bob Casada, who owns Bob Space Racers, called me up and said, Aaron, so you built this uh, whack-a-mole. Will you come over to Daytona and let's talk about it? And I went over to Daytona and sat down in front of him and he said, I want you to tell me how it works. It ran off of a cassette tape, the tones came off the tape, it went into these modules which activated the, uh, the little moles. He asked me how it worked and I refused to tell him. And he laughed at me, he says, hey look, if you don't tell me how it works, we'll figure it out and we'll build our own. I said, okay, help yourself. So um, uh, I, you know, I didn't really resent him for it because I had bigger fish to fry. I never really thought much of it anyway and I considered myself somewhat of a ripoff guy on the whack-a-mole anyway. The irony uh, of, of the whack-a-mole story is that when I finally launched the Showbiz Pizza Place with Bob Brock and we became the largest user of video games and arcade equipment in the world, the whack-a-mole was one of our games. And we bought the whack-a-moles from Bob Space Racers. In fact, we bought hundreds of them. We bought at least two of them for every restaurant. We had 200 restaurants. We bought like 400 whack-a-moles from Bob Casada during the time that I was with Showbiz Pizza Place. Now what's really funny is I saw Bob at the convention at the IAAPA around 1995. He was sitting up on a big chair up at his booth. You know, they have a huge booth. Every year I go by there, it's two. I go by there and I take the, I take the mallet and I start hitting those guys. And I, and I tell one of the salesmen who's standing there, hey, guess what, I invented this game. And they always hate me for it. And they say, you did not. And I say, yes, I did. Just ask Bob Casada. Well, one year Bob was there at the convention. And I went up to him and I said, hey, Bob, how you doing? You're looking great. And I reached my hand out to shake hands with him, and he wouldn't shake hands with me. In fact, he wouldn't even say a word. And I said, you remember me? I'm Aaron Fector. I'm the inventor of the whack-a-mole. And he just sat there, just as quiet as he could be, almost like he thought I had a battery of attorneys behind me ready to, ready to launch into him. But um, I'm not going to sue for the whack-a-mole. Um, I'm glad he did well with it. And uh, I did well, not as well as he did with the whack-a-mole. <laughs> But that's the way things go, and that's the way things go for inventors all the time. But the whack-a-mole that you see now, that has that mole, that sculpture that comes out of the hole, that's the exact same sculpture that I created. The name whack-a-mole is the one that I coined and should have trademarked. And, uh, and so now Bob Space Racers is claiming they created the, uh, the game. But the one that they've created and copied is exactly the one I created, which was basically a rip-off of those nice little Japanese guys that inspired Denny Denton to ask me to build it in 1976. And there's the real story behind the whack-a-mole.